Welcome. In this video, we will be learning how we can create CRUD APIs using Mongo template. The Mongo template class is the primary implementation of Mongo operations interface which specifies the basic set of MongoDB operations. The implementation class of Mongo repository also uses Mongo template bean at runtime. Earlier we created the APIs using the Mongo repository. Make sure to watch it before this video, I'll put the link in the description. In that video, we first created an employee document. Then we also created a controller with these five endpoints which defines our basic CRUD operations. From these methods, we call the employee service methods. And the implementation for these methods are provided in employee service IMPL. Here we called Mongo repositories inbuilt methods to perform the CRUD operations. Now I will create another implementation for the same service and name it as employ mongo template service. This will also implement employ service. Click on implement method and you will get all these methods here. Previously we auto wired employ repository but here we will auto wire mongo template. And I will use constructor injection for this. And I will add service annotation here on this class. Now let's start with our first method which is create employ. First I will create a new employee object. Then I will just use beanutils.copy properties to copy all the fields from this employee DTO to our employee object. Then to save it, we simply needs to call mongo template.save method and pass this employee object as argument. And that's it for this method. This is how easy it is to use Mongo template. Now let's move to our next method which is get employee by ID. In this I will use this MongoDB core query object to query the database. Now this query object needs some conditions based on which it can filter out the result which we require. For that I will call the method add criteria and inside this method I will call the static methods of MongoDB core criteria class. From this I will call the where method and this will require the field on which we want to run query. In our case it will be the id field. Next it needs an operator method. So here I am using is method. This method internally uses the aq operator which we learnt in last video. Now we just have to provide the value which should be compared to the id field and here it is this id value which we received as argument. Now we will get an employee object by just calling mongo template dot find one method. This method needs two arguments. First one is the query object and second is the document class on which this query will be executed. So in our case it is employee dot class. Now I will just return this employee object. Mongo template provides a shortcut for this operation that is instead of calling this find one we will call this find by id method. This find by id method again needs two arguments first is the id value and second is the respective document class. I can further reduce this method by just returning this method and removing the unused code. Now for our third method, we need to find a list of employees with the provided name. For this we will perform the same steps as we just did in above method. First we will create a query object. In this query object I will add a criteria. This criteria defines the condition where name field matches this provided name. This time we will get a list of employees by calling mongo templates method find. Again this will take two arguments, first is the query object and second is employee class. And I will just return this list of employees. We can also convert it into an inline statement. Now the next method is update employee. This method will be same as the create employee method. 
The only difference would be that we will be getting the employee object by calling get employee by id method and passing employee dto.getid as argument. Now I will again call the beanutils.copy properties method. You can also add the id field as the third argument to make it an exclusion. Now just simply call mongo template.save method and save this updated employee object. Mongo template also provides us with update and upsert methods to do the same thing, but we don't need to do that here, and our save method can perform such easy update operations easily. Now for our last method, we need to delete employee by id. For that I will again get the employee object by calling get employee by id method. And I will simply call the mongo template.remove method and provide this employee object here. And with this, our CRUD methods are completed using mongo template. Now, to use this, I will go to my employee controller class and replace the employee service with employee mongo template service. With this our CRUD example is completed, now let's run this application and test our APIs. Our application has successfully started. I will be using the same postman collection which we used in part 4 of this course, you can find the link in the description. So our first API is add employee. I will add the details of a new employee in the body of this post request. Here I will take id as 120, name as vks, age as 25, salary as 10,000 and inactive as true. Click on send. And we got a success response, so let's check the mongo compass. Just refresh this and scroll down to the end and you can see our newly created employee is present here. Now let's test our next API. In this API we will be getting the employee by ID. So I will pass 120 here as request parameter and click on send. Here you can see we got a success response and in response we have our newly created employee with ID 120. Now in our next API, we will be finding employees by name. So I will pass the value of name as VKS in the request parameters. Click on send and this time we got a list having one employee with name VKS. For our next API, we have to update an employee. Here I will be updating the same employee which we just entered. For that I will copy the data from add employee request and paste it here. I will update the salary from 10,000 to 20,000 and click on send. We got a success response, so let's check the compass. Refresh it and you can see the salary of this employee is updated now. Now for our last method, we will be deleting this same employee. For this I will just pass the id as 120 and click on send. Again we got a success response, so let's check the compass. Refresh it, and you will find out that the employee VKS is not present anywhere in here. So all of our APIs are working perfectly fine. With this our CRUD examples with Mongo template is completed. You can also try to use different operators with MongoDB's query and criteria objects, but I will cover them when I'll be starting with operators videos. Till then subscribe to my channel and comment if you have any doubts. Thank you for watching.